Welcome to Power Yoga Strong and Graceful. My name is Travis Elliott and it's a pleasure to get to practice with you. If you want to deepen your practice beyond just this short class, check out Inner Dimension TV where you can get access to all of my full programs and classes. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below and uh, let's begin our flow. Let's begin in mountain pose, hands at prayer position in front of the chest, in front of the heart as we take these initial moments to land and to center and to arrive to the beginning of this strong and graceful practice. Start to wave the breath in and out through the nose as you establish a rhythm and a cadence of the breath that will support you and sustain you through everything that we're about to do. From here, blink the eyes open, circle the arms up to the sky. On the inhale, interlace the fingers, palms inside out. And then lean over to the right side on the exhale, holding there for a couple of breaths, stretching through the left side of your torso. Come back up to middle on the inhale. Same thing on the other side, exhale, leaning to the left, stretching through the right. Come back up to middle on the inhale, and then forward fold on the exhale, float all the way over and down. Flat back on the inhale, let's hold there, hands to shins as you take a couple of breaths, extending the heart out away from the lower back, tucking the chin slightly in, keeping that neck long. One more inhale, pull out a little further. And then exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank, upper push-up position. And then we'll do some plank circles. So on the inhale, shift forward and then move in a clockwise direction. And then on the exhale, complete the circle. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Let's reverse that, inhale counterclockwise. And exhale back to the top. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Loosening those shoulders. One more. Inhale. And then exhale back to center. Hold there. Take a good by inhale. Plank. And then exhale lower slowly all the way down. Cobra pose on the inhale. Heart up to the sky. And then on the exhale back. Downward facing dog. First down dog of the practice. Come back to that breath, just moving in and out through the nostrils, in and out through the nose. Maybe walking out the dog, any movements that feel good, that feel right. Beautiful from here, inhale, lift the right leg up. And then on the exhale, right knee, right tricep touch. Inhale, right leg back. And then exhale, right knee to left arm, exhale. Inhale, right leg back, and then exhale down the middle. Inhale, right leg back, and then down dog, set the right foot down, other side. Inhale, left leg up, exhale, left arm touch. Inhale, pull back, and then exhale, cross to the right arm. Inhale, draw back to the belly on the exhale. Inhale, pull back. And then down dog, set the left foot onto the mat. Take an inhale, press back to the hips. And then on the exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale, fold in. On the inhale, rise and fly, both arms up. Interlace the fingers, palms inside out. And then lean to the right on the exhale. Back to middle, inhale, and lean to the left side, exhale. Back up on the inhale, and then forward fold, exhale. Flat back on the inhale, step back to plank, hold there as you exhale. Clockwise plank circle on the inhale. Back to the top on the exhale, reverse. Inhale counterclockwise. And exhale back to the top, hold there, take an inhale. And then lower down, core strong, exhale. 
Cobra on the inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Good, now kick it into a deeper gear from down dog, inhale forward to plank. And back to down dog, exhale. Two more like that, inhale to plank. And then downward facing dog, exhale. One more time, inhale forward. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Now let's add on to that. Inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga, lower halfway, exhale. Plank on the inhale, press back to down dog, exhale. Two more, inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, and exhale, down dog. One more time, inhale forward, exhale, lower down with power. Inhale, rise with strength. Exhale, press back gracefully. Let's add on to that, and inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower down with power. Cobra on the inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Two more of those. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lower down, steady. Inhale, cobra, we call it stereo and yoga. Exhale, back, down dog. One more time, inhale, forward. Exhale, lower down without collapsing. Inhale, back, massage. And exhale back, downward facing dog, good, hold there. Take a big inhale through the nose, and then out the mouth, exhale, let it all go. Beautiful, now from here, inhale right leg up, and exhale right foot top of the mat, runner's lunge. Go ahead and rise up to a crescent pose, taking both arms all the way up to the sky. Notice the right knee bent right above the right heel. Take an inhale, reach up tall. And then on the exhale, hands to prayer position in front of the heart. Yoga Tai Chi, inhale, spread the hands wide. And then exhale, bring it back to the inside. Circle those arms up above on the inhale. And then warrior two on the exhale. So I like to scoot that right foot in a little bit. And then line the right heel up with that back inner left arch. Drop that groin down deep and low, and then set both arms right in alignment with each other. Beautiful, flip that right palm up to the sky, and then reverse warrior, just come gliding back until it feels liberating across the whole right side torso. Take one last inhale, deep in that, and then exhale back to warrior two. Now first two fingers, right hand up, Back first two fingers, left hand go down. Warrior two variation. With a little bit of a kung fu flare to it. You're gonna drive out strong to that right arm. You're gonna feel that surge within that right thigh, that right leg. And you have a choice. Do you meet it with reactivity or do you meet it with equanimity? See if you can respond with that equanimous, steady mind and breath. Now from here, left arm comes down. Reverse circle all the way back to reverse warrior on the inhale. And then on the exhale, cartwheel both hands down to the ground. Pivot onto the back left toes. From here, bring the right leg back. Lift the right foot off the ground. Stack the right toes on top of your left Achilles heel. And then from here, keeping those feet stacked. Inhale, lower down, chaturanga. Exhale, push up. Two more, inhale down, exhale, rise up. One more time, inhale, halfway lower, exhale, come up. Now inhale, right foot up, exhale, set it down, plank. Take a good by inhale, strong. Exhale, lower down, calm. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, back, down dog. Other side, left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Back right toes at your leisure. Go ahead and rise up. Crescent pose on the other side. So find your balance. If you feel a little wobbly, see if you can get steady, get grounded. Take another inhale, reach. And then exhale, hands down the midline to the heart. Yoga Tai Chi. 
Inhale, spread open. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, warrior two. Turn the chest over to the right. Spread those feet a nice stable distance. And see if you can find that focus. Bruce Lee said the successful warrior is the average person with laser-like focus. In other words, focus, concentration, and presence is what takes you from being ordinary to becoming extraordinary. Left palm flips up, reverse that warrior, come gliding back as we continue to strengthen but also lengthen this body. As we invoke strength, but we do it with grace, like your favorite athlete. Take one last inhale there, and then back to warrior two. First two fingers, left hand up. Back first two fingers down. And then warrior two, kung fu style, like you're a warrior on a path. Supported with focus, supported with intention, supported with awareness. You become totally unstoppable. Right arm down, reverse circle all the way back. Inhale, reverse. And then on the exhale, cartwheel both hands down. Pivot onto right toes. Left leg back to hover. Set the left toes on top of that right heel. And you probably guessed. Three more stacked feet, yogi style push ups with enthusiasm with the attitude of bring it on, baby. Here we go, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. One more, inhale lower, exhale press. Beautiful, inhale left foot up. Exhale, set it down. Take a good by inhale plank. And then exhale lower, smooth. Cobra up dog, inhale still a back massage. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. And let's bring in a little bit of yoga cardio. Here we go, inhale right leg up. Exhale, right foot through. Inhale crescent. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, yoga tai chi. Exhale, gather that energy. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two, variation. Inhale, come back, and then exhale, vinyasa. Go ahead and lower all the way down with control. Inhale, steady as she goes. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, center it up. Inhale, expand with space. Exhale, come in with grace. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn the corner, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two, kung fu. Inhale, come back. And then exhale, lower down strong and steady towards your yoga mat. Inhale, chest high. Exhale, down dog, round two. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deep. Inhale, rise from strength. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, Tai Chi. Exhale, gather the vitality. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, warrior two, arms wide. Inhale, cruise back. Exhale, forward, blazing the path. Inhale, come on back again. Exhale, lower down, keeping those elbows in. Inhale, moving with integrity. Exhale, moving with good form. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot through. Inhale in that yoga groove. Exhale, steady and smooth. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, arms elevate. Exhale, arms radiate. Inhale, come back. Exhale, press through. Inhale, with that focus. Exhale, lower all the way down. Cycle two is done. Inhale, one more round. Exhale, you got it, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deep. Inhale, rise with intention. Exhale, hands to prayer. 
Inhale, open wide. Exhale to the inside. Inhale up to lift. Exhale to turn. Inhale to stretch. Exhale, lower all the way down with fluidity and finesse. Inhale, spread ultra wide through the chest. Exhale, down dog, last side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, hands to prayer with soul. Inhale, open. Exhale, consolidate. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, come back, last standing pose. Exhale, vinyasa. In that sweet, strong, graceful flow. Inhale, heart wide. Exhale, you made it. Down dog. Take a big inhale through the nose. Side out the mouth. Exhale, let it go. Good job, you guys. Take a good bye inhale, stretch back. And then relax your knees down to the mat. Go ahead and stand up on top of your two knees. Bring your hands to the lower back, setting up for camel pose. Tailbone draws down, chest lifts high. Just start to lean back. As you take those inner elbows, draw those in. So shoulder blades together, chest wide. You can either stay here, or if it's appropriate, you can bring your hands back onto your feet, onto your heels. But remember, you don't wanna to go too far too deep especially if it's inappropriate for you and your body. So make sure you're honoring your body and you're never being dominated by your ego. See if you can be dominated by your wisdom. Because if you honor your body, it will take care of you. Last couple breaths, make sure the head isn't falling all the way back. Your neck stays long. So chin slightly tucks down so you're long in that cervical spine. Good, on an inhale, come all the way back up. And then on the exhale, set the hands down to the ground. Crawl the knees forward, top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release down to the sit bones. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Toes forward, heels in. Outer hips draw down. This should feel good. Sit up nice and tall. Bring the chin down towards the chest. Slowly draw the right ear over by the right shoulder, stretching the left side of your neck, keeping the breath flowing. Good, same thing, other side. Slowly transition all the way over, left ear towards left shoulder. Now stretching the right side of your neck. Of course, we collect and carry so much stress and tension in the neck, the upper back and the shoulders. And then nice and easily, just let the head sway side to side a couple times. Stretch out all those subtle neck fibers. Oh man, that feels so good. Good, go ahead and bring the head all the way back up to neutral. Hands to the outer knees, close the knees together and release all the way down onto your back. As you come onto the back, extend both legs straight up to the sky as we set up for some rope climb. So imagine there's a rope dangling by your, your feet. Reach up and grab that rope, hand over hand, fist over fist, climbing up that rope, strengthen that core and those abdominals. Now start to feel the intensity build. Just stay with it and move through that intensity. That's indicative that you are transforming. Things are changing. You're getting stronger and more powerful. Last five, four, three, two, one. Grab the knees, draw those into the belly. Interlace the fingers behind the head and the neck. Take an inhale there. And then right elbow to left knee, right leg kicks out straight. Inhale to middle, exhale other side. On your own, last 30 seconds, bicycle style. Now technically yoga is not a pose, it's not a movement. 
Yoga is about a state of mind, what we call awareness. See if you can bring the awareness to these bicycle style crunches. So you keep the yoga going. And then when you finish your class and you move into the rest of your day, keep the awareness going when you're washing dishes, running errands, having a conversation with the loved one, and keep the yoga percolating throughout all aspects of your day. Last five, four, three, two, one. Both legs straight up to the sky. Extend both arms straight out in front of you. Hold there, last five. Shoulder blades up four, feet flex three, core strong two, one last reach, and then exhale, release all the way down onto the back. Ah, oh, nice. Slide the hands down the outer legs, grab the outer edges of the feet, and then happy baby pose. Soles of the feet up to the sky. Pull those thighs down and sink deep into the largest joint in the body, the hips. Give yourself a little bonus stretch if you want, little gentle rock side to side. As you feel yourself winding things down, smoothing the breath back out, letting the heart rate come back down. Nice, bring the inner knees back together. Extend the left leg forward, right knee stays in. Spread the right arm out to the right. Take the right knee all the way over to the left to a twist. Feel that stretch across the whole lower back and around the sacrum. Bring the right knee all the way back up to neutral. Left knee comes in to join the right, right leg forward, extend the left arm out to the left and then take the left knee all the way over to the right, twisting on the other side. Left knee all the way back up to middle, bring the right knee in to join the left knee. And then finally on an inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees. Give everything one last big squeeze. And then exhale, Shavasana. Taking a last minute or so here to just absorb everything that you just moved into. Feel the boundaries of your body becoming thinner and thinner and the veil of illusion of Maya that separates you from the world, the universe at large, becoming thinner and thinner, almost like a raindrop merging into the ocean so that you feel infinitely spacious. Last minute, Shavasana. Take a deeper inhale through the nose and out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Bring the knees back to the belly and then as you're ready, gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final comfortable cross-legged seated position. 
Both hands to prayer position in front of the heart, sitting up nice and tall. Back to the thumbs, center of the forehead for clarity of mind. Fingers down to the mouth for thoughtfulness of speech. And hands back to the center of the chest, the heart for consistency of action allowing your yoga to shine through all that you think, all that you say, and all that you do. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Namaste. All right, you did it, we did it. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Drop me a comment down below and let me know how your class was and also where you're joining from. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you wanna deepen your practice, check out Inner Dimension TV and we would love to welcome you to our online yoga community. I will see you next time on the mat. Be well.